What's good everyone, Aggie Coach here. All right guys, so welcome to another video. In this video, this is gonna be a fun one. In this video, we're going through Appendix A, which covers guidelines for serious on-field player injuries. So I wanna talk about injuries here because we have a huge injury engine here that, we wanna, that I wanna go over. And I want you guys to understand how much fun your games can be when you include the injuries, okay? So this is how injuries works. So during the course of any any play, uh, any game play, let's say a player uh, falls over, becomes a fallen player. So let's just say uh, during the play, this outside linebacker fell down, right? So now you have to check to see if he was injured when he fell, okay? So to do that, you will roll a die and if you roll a six an injury has occurred if you roll a one through five nothing has occurred and he can get up and continue playing you know in the previous plays right and then what in the next play so so let's say you roll a six and it turns out that this guy is this player is injured keep in mind that in the fat eight Bases are married to players. So if your player ends up with a season-ending injury, that base retires with him. You don't get to use it. Uh, it can't be given to another player. So you roll to six. Now it's determined this person got injured. So now we need to see if the injury is a mild, if he got shaken up, if you got a mild injury, a bad injury, or a season-ending injury. Now, this is very important. If you go to Appendix A, you will see this. To determine this, okay, to determine this, you will roll one more time, okay? If it's a three, it's mild. If it's a two, it's bad. If it's a one, it's season-ending. If it's a four through six, it means that he got shaken up. So once you figure out what that is, then you just roll on the chart to see what happens. So, for example... So let's roll, let's see what happens here. So, ooh, we got a six. Okay, so he was shaken up on the play. You can see here, okay, six, player shaken up. Well, the shaken up rules are right here, right? So now that we know he got shaken up, let's roll and see which one of those he, he got. Okay, it's a one. So he's, he's got a headache. He can return after one change of possession. That's how it works. So that player, you know, he goes over to the sideline. Coach, my head is hurting real bad. He got shaken up. He probably got his bell rung. Okay. So he can sit out for one possession. And then at the change of possession, you can put him back in the game. And then he can continue playing. Okay. So that's how the injury system works. Very, very simple. That's how it works. Now, sometimes things can get bad. So let's say I didn't roll a six. Let's say when he got injured, rolled a six, determined that he was injured, okay? And instead of rolling a six, instead of him being shaken up, let's say it was a bad injury, okay? So let's say it was a two, right? So you got a bad injury, all right? So then the next thing that you're going to do in Appendix A under bad injuries, you're going to just roll to see what kind of bad injury it was. You're going to roll to see what occurred. I just want you guys to see how much fun you can have with this. So, it's a three. Alright, so I come over here to bad injuries and I look at three. Oh, he's got a broken leg out for three games. Right? So that that's what can happen to you over the course of your season. Coach, I hope you got someone in your depth chart. I hope you have enough in the depth chart to replace this guy while he's sitting out for three games, right? You need another outside linebacker who can come in and play in his place. That's why it's important that you build a depth chart and you have a good roster because those kinds of things can happen. And this is one of the things that makes it so much fun, and I wanted to include that because... It makes it a lot of fun when you're actually playing, when you're playing throughout a full season. And you can have players who get injured, right? And when those players get injured, 
you need to have backup players who can come in and take their place during the injury. Well, what happens if the backup player gets injured? So you want to have a depth chart of you at least three deep in your depth chart. So if something like that happens, because, I mean, Lord forbid your star quarterback goes down and he gets a season-ending injury and he's gone for the rest of the season and you're playing a backup quarterback for the rest of the season. So, uh, you know, it's those kinds of things. Teams are going to go through attrition. So it's it's important that, like, this is what the Fat Eight is about. It's about immersing you in, you know, all of the pageantry and all of the ups and the downs in, 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 in college football, right? So you're experiencing those things as well as experiencing the pressure of having to get your guys on side, having to get that playoff before the 40-second play clock runs out, you know, needing to know what plays you're going to run, making sure that you're you're not off size, you don't have, you know, uh, offensive linemen downfield during pass plays when they shouldn't be downfield. All of these things are important. Your play management is important. Your field management is important. Your personnel management is important. All of those kinds of things play a big role because there are lots of penalties, right? So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to stop it here. I wanted you to see how injuries work. Really, really simple. That's how injuries work. So um, in the next video, we're going to be getting back to season five. So I can now, I'm at the stage where I can actually start playing and we're going to be getting back to some games. So um, I'm going to get you guys caught up to speed. I need to get myself caught up to speed too because it's been a while. So um, we're going to be getting back to that. We're going to be playing. I got a couple training camps that I got to do because I have a lot of teams that are not finished, right? Appalachian State is not finished. Their defense is finished, but their offense is not finished. I need to do a training camp for them. Army's offense is, eh, their offense is okay, but it needs a lot of work, and their defense isn't finished. I even got to finish painting their defense because I hadn't finished that either. Uh, I got North Carolina coming. I got Jackson State coming. I got Penn State coming, Boston College coming. Coastal Carolina coming. Um, so I have a lot of teams that I am working on. Uh, so I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to stop it here, guys. Don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. Let's get on to playing Fed Miniature College Football, guys. Try out the injury system and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. It's going to be really interesting to hear what you guys think about the injury system. I want you guys to play test it, test it out in your games, and let's see if you enjoy it as much as I did. I have just had a, a good time uh, playing through this injury system and uh, <laughs> watching what happens to these teams. Uh, you know, the team is set and ready to go, and they get in a game, and they're one of their, uh, their big-time playmakers uh, goes down and boy it can go down in the tank quick so let's get at it man peace